Hello. Uh, let, happy Monday morning. Let's do some exercise and happy summer solstice and happy birthday to me too. <laughs> it's my birthday today, so. Okay, let's do some exercise. Shall we? Uh. Oh, ho, ho. oh. 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 That should be good, I think. Yeah. One and push up, right? Maybe one more round, huh? <sighs> okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, let's see, file transfer complete, okay, uh, what else, wow, Maybe some martial arts, I guess, right? Yeah, maybe some punching. Ha! <sighs> All right. <laughs> 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 Mm, mm, mm. I think that's okay. <laughs> Should be good enough. Can I take five minutes break, please? Whew. Whew. Ah. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Yeah, good morning, everybody. Uh, happy Monday morning. Yeah, it's my birthday today, so that's why I got my day off. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I took a very long sleep and some interesting dreams. A lot of dreams. Dreams are like movies, right? It's just when we are sleeping. Our brain just played these wonderful movies, right? Uh, I had many dreams because I slept very long time. And one dream I remember <clears throat> is this, okay, it's kind of a strange dream. It's documentary format, okay? So I'm in my dream, I'm dreaming, right? It's in my dream, it's like full screen. But he was in documentary format with a narrator speaking in English. Maybe, maybe it was Korean. I don't. I don't remember. I think it was English. Okay. So sometimes, yeah, I, I dream in Korean. Okay. Uh, but uh, mostly I dream in English. Okay. So, so, uh, what was the dream about? It's documentary full screen. Okay. It's not like I'm in my dream. I'm watching a television. This frame is not like this full screen in my dream, okay? What I see is this documentary and with narrator. It was about nature, animals, okay? So there's this bear, adult bear, so I, and he was uh, climbing a tree. So I guess it's black bear. But some black bears have brown in color, okay? Some black bears have brown hair, okay? So. I guess it's brown black bear because he was climbing the tree. Grizzlies, adult grizzlies, they don't climb the tree, okay? But black bears, they do, even adults, okay? So, and they go all the way to the top of the tree, okay? Um, to get like pine cones and whatnot, I don't know. So, they, so the bear and squirrels. So somehow squirrel have this nest on a tree higher up, maybe the what the, the woodpecker's hole maybe squirrel is using it high up on the tree, and the bear was walking toward the tree, and squirrel took a notice. So the squirrel was biting. The bear in, I guess it was a male bear. So uh, the male bear's reproductive organ, the squirrel was biting that, you know, to prevent this bear from coming to the squirrel's nest and eat their babies. Okay, so bears, that's, that's what they do sometimes, right? Well, they're omnivores. So because several months ago, I read the news and picture where bear was. <clears throat> going up the tree to eat birds' eggs. I think it was heron, herons. Yeah, bears are opportunistic. They do that stuff, okay. Uh, it's horrible, but that's how nature is, okay. Bears, they eat eggs, bird eggs. Or even bald chicks, okay, they do that, okay. They are not very nice, okay, bears, yeah, they are, they are not nice at all, okay, so. Um, so, the, <clears throat> um, so there was a documentary. In my dream, okay. So was the squirrel successful? Not really. Bear climbed up the tree and... In the dream, I did not see the bear attacking and eating squirrel babies, but because the dream ended at the, before that happened, 
but it was climb up the tree. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't mean anything, just documentary kind of dream. Yeah. I mean, interpretation of dream, yeah, that's more like entertainment purpose. I don't think uh, it has that much therapeutic value, like uh, psychoanalysis, uh, Z Mr. Zygmunt Freud. I don't think it, it really has therapeutic value, interpretation of dream. It, it's fun, right? Yeah, it's, it's enter it has entertainment value. Maybe it's therapeutic that way, because it's entertaining. I don't know. I'm not a, not a psychiatrist, so... How about human analogy? As a human analogist, interpretation of dream? Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's entertainment. Yeah. Catharsis of datio copion, past copion, okay, that's what it is. Uh, to maintain copion balance, copion homeostasis, okay, like zero. Okay. Yeah, it was, it had a very long sleep. Oh, I also read. Finished reading the book, the Atu Boy, all right? Yeah, Mr. Nick Golodov. Yeah, and his people in the Atu Island, okay, kidnapped by uh, Japanese uh, uh, Navy back in World War Two, and some of them survived the Japanese three years in Japan as a prisoner of war. After three years. They after World War Two was over between uh, 1942 and 1945. Okay, so they came back to America and then uh, Alaska, uh, Atka, Atka, which is like uh, still in Aleutian chain. Okay, Atu, that island is way far to the west. Uh, Atu Island is the western end of uh, Aleutian chain. It is 1,000 miles away from mainland Alaska. It's that far out. And it is actually closer to Russia, Kamchatka Peninsula. 500 miles east of Kamchatka Peninsula, that's Atu Island, and it's American territory, okay. part of Alaska state. Huh? Nowadays, nobody lives there. But some fishermen, naturalists, scientists, archaeologists, Pay that island of business every once in a while. Yeah. It can be resettled in the future. Yeah. <coughs> but uh, it was a very interesting story. Yeah. And then last night I also read uh, Ant Trunks, Ant Feels Trunk, Volume 3. I read one chapter, okay, it was about businessman, also later on, mayor, uh, Zachary Lusak, Mr. Zachary Lusak. Big library in Anchorage is named after him, okay, because he was a successful businessman in Anchorage. He's originally from New York, I think, like Manhattan, New York, okay. And, uh, he came to Alaska to mine some gold, okay. Well, he ended up opening a drugstore, like pharmacy. Later on, become like general purpose store, and he made a big business in Anchorage, Alaska, okay. And then, when? Early to mid 1900s. Okay. After he became a successful businessman, he became a politician. So he served as a mayor of Anchorage. Okay. And after that, philanthropist. He donated a lot of money for public purposes. Okay. Like Anchorage Library. Okay. Hmm? He had many failures earlier. He came to Alaska three times. One time he came for to mine gold, he ran out of money, he was in debt, so he went back to New York. He came back to Alaska, he failed again, with business heavily in debt, so he went down to Seattle and San Francisco. The third time he came back to Alaska, and then he, he started to make actual money as a, a pharmacist, 
Thomas is too old now, okay. And he stayed there. Yeah. Make big money. Yeah. It was a great story. Mm hmm. Yeah, I just slept and slept and slept. I, I was sleeping more than, I think I was sleeping like 15 hours. I In the middle, yeah, I woke up and read some books, right? But I just stayed in, on bed pretty much for 15 hours. What other dreams did I have? Oh, I remember that dream. I remember that dream. <clears throat> it is like good old Korean friend of mine, okay? We're kind of arguing, okay? So. Yeah. I remember his name, okay? He is. It's, it's a Korean friend of mine, guy friend, okay, so uh, he and I, we, uh, we're friends, but we didn't quite, sometimes we didn't get along, okay, so it was about that. I remember his name. Okay, but I'm not even about to tell you. We're kind of arguing. You know, not not too hostile manner, but you know, more like a debate. Yeah, it was civil kind of argument, but, oh, uh, yeah. Oh boy. Let's take five minutes square, please. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, I'm looking for if there are mosquitoes, so no.
Okay. So, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, it's not, it's, it's too early in the episode, okay? So we cannot talk about controversial topic yet. Okay, so. We talk about those things later, okay? So let's just start with easy topics first. Uh, okay. I mean, let, let me grab some drinks. Because I haven't been drinking for a long time. Why? Because I was sleeping, reading books, and I had some fruit. Very good fruits, like berries and uh, mango and uh, pineapples, right? Yeah, so that was good. That's like very good for this. Uh, Hangover. <laughs> After heavy drinking, like previous night, if I, if I woke up, wake up in the morning or in the evening, during the weekend, yeah, I crave for sugar and I eat fruits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, everybody out there with, whose birthday fall in June, happy birthday. Mm hmm. Yeah, today is my birthday. Yeah, uh, so I really appreciate mothers who give birth to us and uh, birth labor. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, we need mothers who and fathers who get married, have children for continuity of humanity. Oh, absolutely, we need them. That's one of the most important, single most important job, parenting, right? Yeah. Getting married. Have kids, very important. Okay, uh, I understand this is not appropriate topic to talk about on my birthday, but we'll talk about it. What topic? Abortion. Okay, uh, Christians are against it because they see abortion as murder, which is uh. Because they see human fetus as a human being, Christians, okay? So they regard abortion as murder, which is forbidden in uh, Mosaic, Mosesian, Ten Commandment, thou shalt not murder, okay? So that's Christian's position, okay? Give me one second. <coughs> So, uh, Mrs. Commissioner, okay, who is running for United Senate seat, I'm glad she's doing, running, okay, very interesting candidate, right? Uh, so Mrs. Commissioner, she's pro pro life, and also she's pro gun. So and she said that she wrote about that she's pro gun and pro life, and some Democrats were criticizing that. Why? Because in their opinion, pro gun. Gun is anti-life because a lot of murders are committed with guns, gun violence in America. Okay, so to Democrats, they are anti-gun. So uh, gun means anti-life because gun kills people. Okay, so that's their position. So to Democrats, Mrs. Commissioner saying in one single sentence, I am pro-gun and I'm and pro-life. And to Democrats, there's self-contradiction. Very smart, right? Yeah, I appreciate Democrats. They're smart. I didn't think of it that way. Because I'm kind of pro gun, okay? Pro bojing gun, too. Why? In Alaska, there are houses, not this house, but because there are no mountains around here, okay? But if I drive 30 minutes 
in this town, Wasilla, there are some houses near the mountain. They get visits. This uh, bear visits. Then in machine gun. That's the best way to kill a bear. Bears are like murderers and burglars. They invade houses. Mm -hmm. They can break in. Yeah. Some of my Alaskan friends, their cabins got broken into. Bears are strong. Okay. Yeah, they can break in. Okay. Yeah. Especially that if they smell some food and in houses, yeah, we cook smell of food and bears are very good sense of smell. So they come, okay? And even if we kill a bear, they'll keep coming. Why? Bears are like this, okay? They are Apex predators, way up in the food chain, okay? Except for human beings, okay? So, in this territory, if there are no bears, it means everything in this territory is their food. So land, free, empty land, devoid of other bears, it means refrigerator or food cabinet. Everything in that territory is bear's food. So empty land devoid of bears to bears is uh, like refrigerator or food cabinet. You take any everything there. Okay. Actually, that's how it was, how it is for human beings too. Uh, Atu Island, they say people first came over there like um, maybe 1,000 years ago. Alushan chain, okay, so, or how about like we have Asia, Alushan chain, and then Alaska, Canada, America, and South America, right? They came from Asia, okay, why? How many years ago? Uh, maybe 20,000 years ago, something like that, okay? First migration of Asians to Americas over Alushan chain, okay? Uh, because this new world, Alaska, I mean, Americas, North and South Americas, okay? They first came from Asia, okay, over the Ice Age, I don't know, maybe 30,000 years ago, 50,000 years ago, something like that, okay. So, I think, uh, because a humans are true apex predators, we have tools to kill even bears and lions. Intelligence, okay, yeah. Humans are true apex predators, okay? Homo sapiens. So, when they learn about empty land, it's like for hunters and gatherers, our ancestors, it's like refrigerator or food cabinet, empty land devoid of other human beings. It's free for all. That's why they came to our, our Americas from Asia, okay? Well, when it comes to Europeans, yeah. They are even higher than apex predators, okay? Europeans with guns and cannons and firearms to they kind of westernized, modernized Europeans with what, this steam engine ships, cannons and guns back in like 1600s, 1500s, 1400s, they are like really top apex predators. Why? Because they can conquer other civilizations who do not have guns or cannonballs. So they colonize other human beings, other races who do not have modern civilization, modern technology or guns, gunpowders, cannonballs, steam engines, okay? And that's what they ended up doing. Yeah, imperialism. Okay? Yeah, they enslave locals and 
uh, conquer and so that they pay taxes. That's imperialism. Uh, what countries did that? Uh, Britain, Portugal, Netherlands, Spain, France. Back in like medieval era, okay, or even before that, like 1500s, 1400s, okay, even during the Renaissance. How about America, United States? And uh, it's it's not exactly that. Well, maybe back in the days, yeah, America, United States did some of those. Uh, maybe it's still doing. Okay, there are some American territories like Samoa, Guam, Virgin Island, P Puerto Rico. All right, but today, Puerto Rico, Guam, Samoa, Virgin Island. Do they like being part of America as an American territory? Well, actually, some of them actually want them to be a state of America. I guess they kind of get some benefit of being part of American territory because if they are born in Guam, Guam, Guam Samoa, Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico, they can freely come migrate to United States and get jobs here. It won't be illegal immigration at all. Because they are United States citizens. So they do get some benefit. Okay. Or do they want to be independent of America? Maybe some of them do. Okay, I, I think it's, opinions are mixed when it comes to American territories. Okay. Because America is nice, right? Yeah, it's a nice country to live. Uh, so many illegal immigrants come to America every year, right? Perhaps every day. So when it comes to territories, they can come here legally, okay? So the mainland of America, so. Hmm? I have some friends from those regions, okay? Yeah, very cool people. Hmm? Now, Yeah, we're talking about abortion, then we started talking about something else. Because abortion, it can be seen as a cruel, I mean, anti-abortion, okay? Anti-abortion can be seen as cruel and unusable punishment, okay? So basically, Christianity, it's like, kind of like based on this Indian philosophy of karma, like a law of consequences. Maybe the Christians, like Judeo-Christianity, well, the authors of Bible is still Jews. Okay, so Jews, maybe they got some later on influenced by Indian philosophy, like Buddhism, Hinduism, maybe. Okay, or maybe they independently arrive this conclusion: if you do something wrong, you get punished; if you do something right, uh, you get rewarded. There's law of karma in Hinduism, okay? Christianity have the same thing there, okay? Maybe there's the independent discovery of that, okay? But, so according to Christianity, okay, yeah, and President Barack Obama opposed that kind of, that school of thought, okay? It's pretty nicely. Young woman, if you, were not careful and you sleep with a man as a consequence so you enjoy that bedroom affair with a man and you get pregnant well that's your punishment so you will not avoid punishment for your sin of getting in bed with a man you should suffer the consequence punishment yes you must give birth to this baby we know it's pain, painful and pain and suffering of childbirth, nine months pregnancy, but that's your punishment because you commit a sin getting in bed with a man. So you must have this baby. It will be painful 
but that's your punishment for your sin. And Mr. President Barack Obama, he opposed that kind of theory. And I agree with President Obama on that. To me, it's against Eighth Amendment in U.S. Constitution. Cruel and unusual punishment. That's one way to look at it. Okay, we'll take five minutes break, please. Okay? Uh. So, uh, marriage, family, they are great institutions, perhaps the single most important one, okay? Yeah, family, marriage, important, okay? I'm grateful to my parents to giving birth to me and raising me. They were never divorced, okay? And they never will. My parents, okay? I, I locked out. I, I was lucky to have wonderful parents, okay? I thank them all the time, okay? So... Uh, but marry at the same time, marriage is not for everybody. I'm not going to get married. I'm not going to have kids. Okay, marriage is not for everybody. Okay. To me, married people who never get divorced, they are like saints and they are like elites, special forces. They work like eighty hours a week. Okay. I I'm not that. I'm not elite. I'm not special forces. I cannot work eighty hours a week. No, not me. But some people can do it, and I admire them. They can do things that I can only imagine. Okay, so. And I'm glad I was born because I get to meet wonderful people like you. Yeah, yeah I mean it. Okay, so thank you.
so painful, so wonderful. Okay. Yeah, and actually that's the speech I gave when it was my birthday uh, six years ago. So I was 37, 37th birthday, yeah, in law school. Okay. I birthday party and gave a speech, okay, before I started this therapy for metrophobia movie in the lecture hall. Okay. I rented a lecture hall for free, okay. So school officials they ha let me do it, okay. But they said, but no drinking guys, no drinking. No, we did not bring any alcohol. Just soda, uh, water, that was it. And pizza. Yeah. It was nice pizza, okay. I had this friend, a uh, pizza parlor owner, okay, in Ypsilanti, Michigan, okay. He made, he's a wonderful cook, okay. Oh, his pizza was very special, okay. I think I bought like 20 boxes of pizza. Okay. So he gave me some good discount, okay. It's my birthday too, so yeah, it was nice. So, back to abortion. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, I can make some far-fetched arguments. Okay? Sometimes that was, that's what lawyers do, okay? I'm a lawyer, so I can make some far-fetched arguments, okay? It's not frivolous argument, but a little bit stretching of the legal interpretation. Sometimes lawyers do that, okay? So, first amendment. Yeah, separation of church and state, right? separation of religion and government, and anti-abortion is kind of against that, okay? Because they're kind of mixing Christianity and state of federal law, okay? anti-abortion law, okay? Yeah, so, so, also, first amendment still freedom of association, okay? It also means freedom of disassociation. Mm -hmm. Let's say I have some friends who are LGBT community members, okay? But hypothetically, let's say, hey, I don't want to be your friend because you are LGBT community members. That's constitutional freedom of disassociation. Okay? Yeah. How about abortion setting? If a oh, young lady want to dissociate from this pregnant, impregnated fetus, that can be seen, interpreted as freedom of disassociation, first amendment right, which is implied by freedom of association, freedom of assembly, okay? Second amendment, freedom to have a gun. Well, it doesn't quite apply. I, I cannot even stretch. So, no violence on second amendment, okay? Third amendment. I don't even know what third amendment is. <laughs> it's been a while since I studied constitution, okay? Do I have constitution here? Not in this shelf. Let me go grab it. I'm like, where's my constitution? I lost it. I lost my constitution. Oh, there it is. What's third amendment? I don't even remember. We'll look it up later, okay? Fourth amendment, unlawful search and seizure. Yeah. Anti-abortion law, anti-abortionism kind of violent. That. How? I mean, Republicans are they are saying, yeah, you must give this birth, this you must give birth to this unwanted child. If you're a pregnant young lady, you have to give birth to this baby, and then 
we snatch the baby and find some adoption pair, adoptive parents. So we have to look and search who's pregnant. Who's this unwanted pregnant young lady? We have to find them. We have to search them. And then we have to seize the baby and give to adoption agency. Wonderful search agency, okay. Fifth Amendment. Yeah, it's about right to property, right to life, one's own body, life, one's own body, right to property. My my body is my property, okay? So a government cannot take take that without just compensation. There's the takings clause, okay? Taking. Unconstitutional taking. Like, when it comes to real estate, real property, realty. Eminent domain, okay, what does that mean? Yeah, let's say President Trump building Southern Buddha Wall, he declared eminent domain on this property in Texas, Arizona, the border with the with, uh, border state with Mexico, okay? Yeah, declare eminent domain and seize this private property to build a border wall. But you have to pay for it to the property owner. Otherwise, it becomes unlawful, unlawful unconstitutional taking, okay? So yeah, there's property right, private property right, okay? There's Fifth Amendment taking clause, okay? And so pregnant lady, her body is her property and it's her life. So Fifth Amendment protects that. Fourteenth Amendment protects that too, okay? Fourteenth Amendment is just a state version of Fifth Amendment, okay? Constitutional right to pro private property and life, okay? Yeah. So entire abortion law, yeah, it infringes upon that kind of property right, life right, because it's her body, her life. Government cannot mess with that without just compensation. So if anti abortion law become federal and state laws and young females who does not want this baby is forced to give birth to this baby, she needs to be compensated for the pain and suffering of childbirth and preg pregnancy. Okay. Otherwise, it will be unconstitutional taking. Okay. This pain and suffering of childbirth and in, in, and pregnancy, pregnancy, nine months and childbirth, huge labor, birth labor, pain and suffering. Okay. They need to be compensated for that. Otherwise, it will be unlawful taking. Oh? Yeah. So we are doing constitutional analysis of the anti-abortionism to make abortion illegal, okay? <sighs> we take five minutes back, okay? I understand this is not an appropriate topic to talk about on my birthday, but to me, yeah, birthday is special. So I that's why I got this day off and that's why I went to karaoke bar, dance club two days ago. It's a special day, yeah. But at the same time, birthday is another day I work. Well, I didn't go to work because I got my day off. But in human life series, we do education yeah. yeah it's a pro bono volunteerism work right yeah so let's take five minutes break uh, again i'm sorry i apologize if, if i'm offending anyone okay but in this brand of humanology uh, we do not have time for political correctness. Yeah. Political correctness, it can apply to conservatism as well. Okay. It's not just Democratic Party people. Political correctness. Okay. We apologize if we offended anybody.
but we are just being scientific, jurisprudential, and academic, scholarly, and we should not censor ourselves too much. Okay? We are talking about ideas. We are being civil, polite, courteous. We are not making any profanity, obscenity, although our ideas maybe our ideas themselves although expressed civilly maybe our ideas themselves are kind of profane and obscene offensive we apologize okay i'm sorry you take five minutes please, okay? I'm horrible, okay, I'm bad. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Five minutes, please. Yeah, like Friday night live with Hong Kill Lee, like last Friday, yeah, we talked about to Mr. Jody Floyd and also Mr. Derek Chauvin's trial and also like homicide, definition of homicide. And I kind of said something like, it's not the best topic to talk about on my birthday weekend, but yeah, it's like the last Friday was also Juneteenth. Right? Yeah, federalized holiday. 
to sell memorialized uh, the emancipation of African Americans from slavery. Okay, yeah, I, th I think I, th I think it's a good idea to uh, make it federal holiday. Okay, yeah, yeah, historical significance. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I I had to talk about it. Okay, so uh, so Mrs. Commissioner, I heard her radio interview. Okay. She said something like, yeah, the most vulnerable Americans, the feeders, and they need to be protected. And she, tell, she says she'll stand up for this most vulnerable Americans, the feeders. Okay, so I, I, you know what? I'm like, she should know better. She went to Harvard Law School. She should know better, okay? Feeders, they are not legally American citizens. Because American citizens, they are defined as uh, born in... America after childbirth. So feeders they are not legally American citizens. Okay. She should know better. She's been too much of an ideologue, activist. <sighs> too extreme. Okay. Let's talk take a break from this abortion issue. Okay. So Mrs. Commissioner, she I mean she's she said she was a pastor. I mean, I question that her pastorship. I love pastors. The legitimate ones. I don't think she's legitimate pastors. I don't think she went to any seminaries and studied theology. But she, she, I guess she and her husband opened a church in Virginia back in the days. Maybe she still has one in Anchorage. Okay. And she's a pastor. I mean, do you have a degree? Did you go to seminary school? Did you get some kind of uh, this ordained ceremony as a pastor maybe she did okay but i don't think she's less than a pastor okay because she's such an interesting candidate okay i i looked at some of her video footage when she was preaching in her church she's not talking about bible she's talk not talking about ethics morality when she's preaching in her church as a pastor what should what does she talk about She's all about herself. She talks about her job, some kind of bad experience that she experienced at the job. She's talking about herself and her life. She's not talking about gospel or Bible. <laughs> so, in my opinion, the reason why she opened up the church and become a pastor, pastor is to talk about herself, uh, herself and Maybe not political reasons, but maybe that's part of that too. And I don't know. I'm just speculating. As I'm, I am biased against her candidacy because I'm running against her. Okay. And like uh, she maybe wanted to have some uh, gather some attention, be on the stage, and be the star. Uh, being on the spotlight as a pastor so that she give out the speeches and in front of people. Huh? I think that's why she became a pastor, okay? I don't think she's a good Christian. Okay. I do question her religion. Okay. Because some Christians define Christianity as anti-abortionism, okay, and I disagree. <laughs> okay. She's my political enemy, okay? Uh, most likely she does not even know me, my existence. Maybe she does. I don't know. <laughs> because I, I'm no threat to her campaign. Okay, I'm a dark horse candidate. Yeah? Uh, but uh, I pray for her and her campaign so that they do better job and do some better campaign because uh, she's too. She and her people are being very dishonest. Okay. And because initially, like about. Three or four months ago, when she declared her candidacy as uh, United States Senatorial candidate from Alaska, okay, she was like, I mean, I think there was this, at that same time, 
I think it's a time-wise coordinated event. Yeah, some election poll, like she will get thirty percent of Alaskan votes when Senator Lisa Murkowski will get twenty percent of Alaskan votes. That's the election poll. Okay, I think she paid for it. The election poll. Okay? It was a flat out lie. Okay, because the, the, the election polling company is saying thirty percent of Alaskans. More than 30% of Alaskan voters know who she was. And maybe 50% of Alaskans knew who she was, Mrs. Commissioner. And 30% of Alaskan voters would vote for her. That's a lie. Why? She was not that well known. Three months ago. I didn't know her. And I'm a politician. <laughs> Do you think average Alaskan voters would? How many percentage of average Alaskan voters knew her three months ago in March? In my opinion, less than 10% knew about her. Less than 10%, probably like 5%, 1% knew who she was. <laughs> okay? Let's say 10% of Alaska knew who she was three months ago when she declared her candidacy. Out of 10% Alaskan voters who knew who she was, probably one third of them wanted her to be senator next year. So we are talking about 3% of Alaskan voters who would actually vote for her three months ago. Okay? And they said 30% would vote for her. Okay? That's a lie. Okay? Not that many people knew who she was. I didn't. So I asked some of my friends. Hey, do, do you know about this new candidate, Mrs. Commissioner? They said they, didn't. they don't know who she is. I didn't. Before three months ago, I had no idea who she is. She was not that well known. Yeah, she was Department of Commissioner, I mean, Department of Admission Commissioner, right? But nobody knew, not many people in Alaska knew who she was. No, I didn't. And I'm a politician, okay? I've been in pol Alaskan politics for three years, since 2018. And I, I know a lot of Alaskan politicians or politicals, political activists. I never once knew her okay, for the past three years. And I'm a politician. I've been in Alaskan politics for three years and I never heard of her name. Then, how about average Alaskan voters? Of course they didn't know her. No. Lie. Okay, dishonesty. Okay. That's why I think she's a, not a good Christian. I do question her Christianity. I do question her religion, okay? And she, she, she's good looking, okay? And her campaign advertisement, yeah, it's very spectacular. Okay, this glacier, Alaska glacier, blue sky. She dressed in kind of light blue. It was beautiful, yeah, beautifully filmed, yeah. But they say everything that glitters is not gold. There are some glittering things, which is not golden. Okay, and I, I think that fit, befits the occasion there. Okay, so. So, what I'm observing all from the blogosphere blogs, trailing the news articles about her campaign, I think more and more people are having some doubts about her candidacy, okay, and her campaign. Okay. Um, so I pray for her so that she does a better job as a candidate. If she gets elected, I hope she stop lying and stop being dishonest. She and her people better learn this lesson soon. Okay? They should stop lying and trying to deceive Alaskans. Because her, her and her people's lies, it's just been too obvious, okay? She said she applied for Department of Administration commissioner job 
she said. Yeah, I was working in Washington, D.C., federal governmental agency, and I heard about this job opportunity, so I applied. Your job opened up in Department of Administration, Commissioner, Department Head, so I applied. That's a lie. Why? Because Department Head, State Department, Commissioner job is strictly appointment based. It's invitation only. You don't get to apply to those jobs. It's not like there's the suddenly job opening. Department, Alaska State Department head commissioner in Indy.com, Monster.com. That's not how it's done. It's their appointment based. Okay. Well, that's state level. Yeah. Appointed by Governor Don Levy or whoever governor of state. Federal department head. They are appointed by President of the United States, uh, Department of Treasury, Department of Defense, federal level. They don't post that job opening to Indeed.com or Monster.com and take some applicants. That's not how it works. Okay. President Biden appoint them and they go through some Senate confirmation. State level, same thing. Okay. So governor don't be appointed Mrs. Commissioner, okay? And yeah, there was some state level Senate confirmation hearing, okay? The way she and her people lies in her campaign is just being too obvious, okay? Not very smart people, okay? They better wise up. Why? Otherwise, she's gonna lose, okay? As her political enemy, I'm a Christian. I'm practicing Christian, okay? I love my enemies. I pray for them, and I want their campaigns to do the right thing. If they're going to win, I want them to be honest and do a good job for Alaska and America and the world. I pray for them because they have a better chance of winning than me. If they're going to win, I want them to do the right thing. And yes, be good Christians. If they are claiming that they are Christians, okay, I want them to be real Christians. Mm. Not Christian in name only, okay. So, we'll take five minutes break, please, okay. So, welcome to Human Allergy. Anything goes, okay. Anything good. We're being civil, okay. And we'll talk some more about Constitution, okay. Five minutes, please. Okay.
Okay. So, yeah. Constitution, huh? Yeah. Sword of Mammon, what's Sword of Mammon? I don't know. Oh, quarter. Yeah, it's a soldier you cannot quarter in private houses in the time of war. Something like that. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So, we did was seventh amendment. I think it's we did fifth amendment, sixth amendment. What's sixth amendment? I don't know. Oh, yeah, speedy trial, right? Criminal law, yeah. Criminal law, Sixth Amendment, right to representation, right to have a lawyer, okay. Speedy trial for criminal, criminally accused, okay. Seventh Amendment, it's civil law, civil side, jury trial, right? Something like that, okay. And Eighth Amendment, uh, cruel and unusual punishment, yeah, we talked about that. Ninth Amendment, uh, I don't recall, okay. I think 9th and 10th are kind of related. It's like a state's right. 10th Amendment, 9th Amendment, it's like federal rights, state rights. Yeah, like nothing in this constitution should be interpreted against state's rights. I think that's 10th Amendment. Okay. What's 9th Amendment? I have to look it up. I... It's been a while, okay. I should know better, right? Yeah. I went to Michigan Law School, okay. I did, yeah, constitutional law is required mandatory class. I did take it, okay. But it's been a long time, okay. So, yeah, I should know better, right? Yeah, Michigan Law School is top 10 law school, okay. It's not Harvard or anything. <sighs> but still, okay. So, enumerate, ninth amendment, okay, enumeration, close. Yeah, they must state rights. Ninth Amendment. It's about the people, okay? So, yeah, this constitution should not, should not be interpreted against the people, okay? That's Ninth Amendment, okay? Tenth Amendment. Yeah, if nothing is enumerated here in constitution, yeah, state has all the rights, okay? So, how about Eleventh Amendment? It's about judiciary. <sighs> I don't understand what it's saying. Judicial power of the United States shall not be construed to extend to any suit in law or I call the comments or prosecuted against one of the United States by citizens of another state or citizens of a sworn state. Okay. So eleventh amendment is like if you are citizens of California, you cannot sue state of state government of Illinois, okay, yeah, it's like jurisdiction kind of stuff, okay. Well, procedural law, all right. How about 12th Amendment? I'll look it up, okay. 13th Amendment, anti-slavery law. Yeah, the 13th Amendment, right? So, if American government force a woman, young woman, to have this unwanted child, that's kind of like slavery, okay? So, yeah. 12th Amendment, I don't know what that is. Uh, let me look it up. We are examining constitutionality of anti abortion law, okay? 12th Amendment. Yeah, it's about elect electorate, it's like election. 
electoral voting system, I guess. It's quite long. It's about election, okay. Electoral college, I guess. I don't know. So, for the of my mind, we talked about it, okay. So, freedom of right to property, liberty, okay. So, it's a fifth amendment extension to states, okay. Fifteenth amendment, I do not know. Let me look it up. It's voting rights, 15th, okay. Rights of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States, okay. Uh, on account by United States or United States on account of race, color, and previous condition of servitude. Okay. It's voting rights, kind of anti-discrimination. The 15th Amendment. 16th Amendment, I have no idea. Yeah, Congress have power to exact tax taxation. Okay. The 16th Amendment, 17th Amendment, no clue. It's about Senate, senators. Two senators from each state, okay. So that's 17th Amendment. 18th Amendment, is it about like women's right or was it about uh, Alcohol prohibition. We we'll see. It is amendment. It's about alcohol. Okay, yeah. It's repealed. Okay, so so seventies amendment is about senate. Two senators each state. Okay, eighties amendment is like. A, Yeah, it's prohibition of alcohol, 18th Amendment. Later on, it was repealed, okay. 19th Amendment, I think it's women's right. Yeah. Right to vote should not be denied or abridged on account of sex. Okay, so it's women's right, voting right, okay. 20th Amendment is the repealing the 18th Amendment, is alcohol prohibition. No, it's not. Twentieth Amendment is about presidency. It's about presidency. Twenty-fourth okay. Amendment. Yeah, it's the repealing Eighteenth Amendment, the prohibition. Okay, Twenty-second Amendment. No clue. Yeah, it's limiting the presidency, okay, 22nd Amendment, President of the United States, limitation, only two terms, okay, up to two terms, 22nd, okay, 23rd Amendment, it's about Congress, presidency, it's about election, mm. The third amendment, some details, procedural stuff. Twenty fourth amendment. Again, it's about voting rights, procedural stuff. Okay, it's about election. Twenty fifth amendment. Yeah, it's about removal. In the case, in case of removal of the president from office or his death or resignation, the vice president shall become president. Okay, that's twenty fifth amendment. Okay. 26th Amendment. Again, voting rights, okay, if you're American citizen, 18 years old, old or maybe it's anti-age discrimination, okay. Just there's 26. 27th Amendment. It's about salary of senators and representatives, okay. So. That's that. So that's U.S. Constitution. Okay. Whew.
ادامه در So let's go to break. Yeah, uh, some kind and generous people like the ice cream, ice cream truck with nice music, right? Yeah, I bought some ice cream. Why? It's my birthday. Okay, <laughs> I purchased plain vanilla ice cream. Okay, yeah, and I gave some hand, handsome tips. Okay, so this. Yeah, I remember this ice cream truck with nice music, right? It was not just children's music, it was there was also this uh, medley of classical music that you like, okay. Yeah. I love children's music too, okay. Yeah. So I bought some ice cream. Because it's my birthday. <laughs> I will eat it, but I may not eat it. Why? Because if I eat refined sugar, I develop these pimples on my face. I, I don't know. I don't want pimples on my face, okay. but I bought it, okay, to celebrate my birthday, but most likely I'm not going to eat it, okay, because I cannot eat sugar, okay, so, but I wanted to purchase it, okay, I did. But I don't want pimples on my face, that's what I get if I eat chocolate, ice cream, candy, refined sugar. I always get pimples on my face and I don't want it because sometimes it becomes speckle, it becomes permanent. I, I cannot take that. But I bought it. Yeah. And they say a happy birthday to me, okay? So yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the visit. Yeah. That's nice. Okay, we'll take five minutes this, okay?
Yeah, so last night, I think, after the episode, I mean, not last night, but yesterday morning, yeah, I watched this music videos and did some singing and dancing, right? Like, uh, and post in the Facebook, just copy and paste the YouTube link to this, all these songs. One of them was, uh, Band Aid, British, early 1980s, right? Yeah. Uh, Feed the World. Yeah. yeah. And then I jumped ahead and looked at this American kind of copycat version of that. Okay. Yeah, this like all star casting kind of singing in group one by one. Uh, American copycat of the British version, Band Aid, uh, Feed the World. Let them know it's Christmas time, feed the world. They are very songs for Africa to help them out, okay? Some donation money, okay, going to Africa. Yeah, that's what that was about, okay? So. I guess back in 1980s, America was going through some kind of war or famine. I guess, okay? So, next song was uh, American copycat version of that Band-Aid, Feed the World. American version of that copycat, that's uh, We Are the World, okay? Yeah. I, it's kind of passable, that's what I said in the Facebook. It's passable, it's not as good as We Are the World British song. We Are the World, that's okay song, really, okay? But... I saw some of my American singers, I mean, the kind of American singers that, that I appreciate, okay. Yeah, Paul Simon, and we have this uh, Lion, Lionel Richie, and Diana Rose, Motown, the, the Supreme, okay, Diana Rose, beautiful lady, okay. And some other musicians like uh, Huey Lewis, right? And uh, Bob Dylan and who else? Some uh, yeah, Kenny Loggins, I guess maybe. Yeah. Is it British? I I don't know. And also, of course, Michael Jackson. He got special treatment. Okay, all the, all the other lesser known singers they are crammed in these small spaces in the studio, musical studio, right? <laughs> My, Mr. Michael Jackson, okay, he's a king of pop, pop, whatever, so he got his own big room all by himself with special treatment, okay, that was funny. <laughs> we are the world, we are the children. Yeah, yeah, Michael Jackson. Then there's the very passionate Caucasian female with blonde hair and white skin. Her eye color, I don't know, maybe it's brown or blue, I don't know. Yeah, Cindy Lauper, okay. Very passionate thing. Wow, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I started crying because her performance, these gestures and voice, Cindy Lauper is so passionate. I started to cry because it's too overwhelmingly passionate, energetic. Cindy Lauper, okay. Who sang this? Yeah. Good enough for me is good enough for you is good enough. Good enough for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kunis. Kunis. <laughs> Great singer. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah. By the way, the Mr. Chunky, Mr. Chunk. Child actor in that movie Goonies. Later on, he became a lawyer, Beverly Hills entertainment lawyer. Yeah, and he lost weight. Okay, yeah, that was interesting. Highly successful attorney he became. He went to some prestigious school. I don't know, maybe Stanford, Berkeley, something like that. Okay, maybe Harvard, Yale. I don't know. Yeah. 
He became very, very su- successful entertainment attorney in Beverly Hills. Okay, Mr. Chung, Chunky, child actor in that you know Goonies movie. He was kind of obese, overweight in that movie. Okay. How about we talk about obesity? Okay. Yeah, obesity is like uh, it, maybe it could be a disability or um, mental disease, okay? Or maybe it could be lifestyle, all right? Or it could be a American obesity. It could be a pandemic. Or it could be just lifestyle. Americans they love barbecue. Okay, I yeah I do too. I've been to invite to my friends, house party, barbecue. It's it's great. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, I love it. I mean, when I was in South South Korea, my parents would have house party and barbecue in the summertime. Yeah, it's good. But barbecue meat tend to be very fatty. Beef, pork. I mean, if I go visit Korea, or if I get invited to my friend's house party, yeah, barbecue, fantastic. Just like, like once in a decade event. So, uh, personally, I don't do barbecue. It's too much work. Okay. Beef, pork. I love it. I do beef and pork once in a while. Chinese food, or Thai food, whatever. Hmm? Once in a while, but not on a regular basis. Okay. They are delicious. Yeah, beef, pork. Yeah, I get it. Okay. But too much fat. Maybe that's why it makes it so delicious. It's like fat is like lubricant. Okay, you just go down very smoothly. Lubricant. Oil <laughs> go down the throat so smoothly, okay, and they are very delicious. Beef, pork, fat, uh, yeah. But my attitude is this, okay, kind of sacratesia, okay. When it comes to eating, I'm minimalist. When it comes to some sexual activity, I'm a minimalist with this too. Kind of Napoleon, yeah. Napoleon was like that. When Napoleon got into bedroom with a lady, it was very quick. Okay. When he was eating Napoleon or France Emperor, when he ate food, it was very quick, like ten minutes. In bedroom affair with his wife or whoever, ten minutes. Okay, yeah, it was just Minimalist. I'm kind of like that too. Bedroom affair. Well, it's just me going to internet. Okay. Ten minutes. Biological need as a man. Okay. Yeah. I'm not important. I may not be important, but I am not important. Yeah, I go to online data, on, online um, adult websites and get it done over with, okay? Like once a week. Do the weekends, okay? When I eat thrice a day, microwave food mostly, okay? 10 minutes, that's all it takes each time, okay? So I have a minimal list when it comes to food and bedroom affair okay minimalist why because i'm busy mm. but cooking tradition anywhere in the world including america and korea yeah it's beautiful it's good tradition i'm a beneficiary okay my friends invite me my family friends, okay, house party, yeah, beautiful. In Korea, same way, okay? No objection there. 
But when it comes to obesity, okay, uh, it's like lifestyle, okay. So, uh, okay, so I I don't spend time cooking, eating. Then what do I spend time with? Drinking, <laughs> smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol. Yeah. In my spare time, okay. So cigarette, tobacco, nicotine, and alcohol, is it healthier than sugar and fat? Maybe not. I don't know. Or maybe? I, I, I don't know. Maybe people who engage in sugar and fat consumption, maybe they will live longer than me who doesn't do sugar and fat very often but alcohol and tobacco uh, yeah every night okay daily basis maybe it's a race who will live longer people who do sugar and fat and people like me who does not do sugar and fat but who do alcohol and tobacco who's gonna live longer we shall see <laughs> Maybe we die, finish the race about the same time, maybe live up to like 90 years old, 100 years old. Maybe we will tie. I don't know. I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's lifestyle choices, right? We take five minutes break, please. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Give me a break, it's my birthday. <laughs> Take five minutes, break, please. Thank you. There's this bug over there in the ceiling in the corner. It's not mosquito, but I don't want the bug here in my house. Okay, so I will get it. All right. I have to jump. It's not sailing. <sighs> it's gone now. It was all morning. All right, so.
Okay, so it came to my mind uh, some more singers in that we are the world. Uh, yeah, Billy Joel and Miss Warnick. I don't remember her first name. African American, beautiful, female, talented, recording artist. Okay, and also Tina Turner. Okay, African, another African American female, very beautiful and talented. Okay. Uh, when it comes to me, yeah, Billy Joel too. Really. She's like kind of like Middle Eastern, kind of brown, kind of guy, European descent. Mr. Billy Joel, okay, yeah. I love you just the way you are, or uptown girl, or piano man, okay, whatever. Billy Joel, he was there. Right? And when it comes to uh, Miss Tina Turner, African American lady, yeah, I'm your private dancer. Dancing for money, I do what you want me to do. And she also featured in Double O Seven movie back in the days. Yeah. Intro. Okay. Golden Eye, I think. Yeah. Very cool. So I'm your private dancer. Dancing for money, I do what you want me to do. Miss Tina Turner. <laughs> okay. Have I been to Gentleman's Club? Yeah, yeah. Back in the days, yeah. Uh, but I do not encourage females to g go into that industry because I care about their health, reputation, okay. But I've been there, okay. Yeah. As a patron. I'm not a female, so I mean, if I dance, do you think I will make any money? Get some tips? I doubt it. And I, I'm not LGBT community member, okay? So I, um, if I dance, <laughs> I'm not gonna make any money, okay? Hey. But, I remember when I was in Los Angeles, California, okay. it's a computer program, okay. I go down to Mexican border, okay, yeah, some weekends, right. I was like, there was, I was in Los Angeles, California, North Hollywood, San Fernando Valley. It was like, uh, something like, Victoria Boulevard and Lancashire Boulevard, or maybe Sipaveda Boulevard, something like that. Okay, it's a corner of that. Okay, nice neighborhood, North Hollywood, San Fernando Valley, mostly Hispanic neighborhood. There's this amazing taco stand every Friday. Okay, authentic Mexican style, Hispanic neighborhood. Okay, oh, I love the taco. St street corner. Okay, taco stand on the corner of. Uh, Lancashire and Victoria Boulevards. When I was in Los Angeles, California, okay, yeah, I studied Spanish on my own, okay, to communicate with my neighbors. I live in Hispanic neighborhood, okay, same family in the valley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great people, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've been to Tijuana, Mexico, to south of the American border, Mexican border, okay. Great people, yeah. Hmm? Octopus cocktail, seafood cocktail with shrimps, right? Uh, it's, uh, it's amazing. Octopus in Spanish, football, right? Shrimp in Spanish, I think it's a camarón, camarón, I think, okay. And this. Fresh cut coconut juice, coconut meat. <sighs> Amazing. Okay. They just cut this coconut, right? And put a straw in there, and I drink this coconut juice. After it's done, they would chop this coconut meat in a plastic cup, right? So I would eat that when I was driving back to America. Okay. Long line, Mexican border to. California border, okay. Very long line. 
Mm-hmm. And yeah, uh, Tijuana, Mexico, okay, wonderful people, beautiful people too, okay, so yeah, I went to some clubs, gentlemen's clubs, and they'll give me a hug, okay, because some Asian guy from California, America, computer programmer and single. They sympathize with me, okay? So they gave me a hug, okay? Yeah, so in dance clubs, ladies who work there, okay? So I was very grateful. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Fond memories, okay? Yeah. 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 Yes, I have been to red light districts, okay? I'm sorry if I'm disappointing you, but what do you expect? I'm a single guy, Asian in Alaska. Well, well not, not here, but Asian in America, okay? In Alaska, I have been to a uh, like, Google Dance or like, Gentleman's Club. Yeah, that was like five years ago. Mm. When I was living in Anchorage. Yeah, I've been to Gentleman's Club in Anchorage, Alaska. That's like five, six years ago. Okay. In the valley, there's none. Okay. I, I think it's better that way. Okay. Well, there used to be some strip clubs. Lap dance, gentlemen's clubs in Machu Valley, okay? And some kind and generous Alaskans in Machu Valley, okay? Uh, they purchased their property and turned it into a church. I really appreciate that. Okay? I attended that church for a while. Okay? In Anchorage, too. There was this gentleman's club that I've been to before, <laughs> okay? They turned it into a church, Christian church. I think it's great. Christianity, right? Yeah, this is fantastic. Well, diverse things happened in Manhattan, New York, okay? It used to be a church and some club, dance club owners, they purchased that previous church and turned it into a dance club. Not gentleman's club, but kind of hip hop, house music, techno dance club, okay? I've been to that place, okay? So yeah, it happens either, either way, okay? Yeah. Secular versus religion, competing each other. Yeah. So in that club, it's not gentleman's club, it's just dance club, house music, multiple story, one story, first floor, they play maybe country, second floor, maybe they play hip hop, rap, third floor, maybe they play house music, techno, okay. I've been to that club in Manhattan, New York. What year? <sighs> when I was in Cornell University, upstate New York, Ithaca, New York. Finger Lakes, okay. Great. Falls, Cascades, okay, yeah. So it was between 2004 and 2006. I was in there. Ithaca New York, Kona University, two years, 2004 and 2006, okay. Yeah, I traveled to Manhattan, New York, okay, to some summer internship there, okay. Kona Medical College, that's in Manhattan, New York, okay, so. I, yeah, so bioinformatics, computational biology, PhD, candidate, yeah. Paid visit to Manhattan, New York, and I went to that club, I remember. <laughs> There was this beautiful lady, right? So I was approaching her to talk to her and she said, Keep walking! Don't talk to me! Keep walking! Just go that way, keep walking! I'm not gonna talk to you, okay? Just keep walking! I was like, oh, Okay, I keep walking. I've been to Europe too! Some dance clubs in Europe. Yeah, Backpack Trip, there was earlier than that. There was like, late 1990s or early 2000s 
when I was computer science Bachelor of Science, science degree in medicine was concerned. Between, two th between 1997 and 2004, it took me seven years to graduate because my English was not that good. Okay. Yeah, backpack trip to Europe, okay, yeah. I think it was France. I, I, yeah, I went to a dance club there, okay. Beautiful people, yeah, French people, okay. Au revoir. Comment allez-vous? Ça va bien. Merci beaucoup. S'il vous plaît. Yeah, French, okay. I, I knew some French because I studied French, okay. When I was in college, when I was in South South Korean high school, when I was in college in Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, I studied some French. Beautiful language. Yeah. So I went to this dance club in, I think it was in Paris, France, back in like 1999 or it could have been year 2000 or 2001. So backpack trip, European trip. Okay. So yeah, there's this beautiful lady, right? I was like, I just speak English, okay? So I was like, Hey, beautiful young lady, would you want to dance with me? And she was like, no, 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 no leave me alone, okay? Just, just go ahead, stop bothering me, okay? Okay. Okay. Rejection, all right, rejected. Okay, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Uh, disappointed. It's not just Asian American. No, it's all different races, guys, anywhere in the world. We go through that stuff, rejection. Okay, because we are not Donald J. Trump or Barack Obama, Barack Hussein Obama. We are not Joseph Biden, we are not like Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, or, or Elon Musk, we are none of that, we are just guys, we have jobs, maybe we are students in some colleges, but we are not JFK, FDR, we are not like Rockefeller or George W. Bush. We are not Michael Jackson or Bob Dylan or Billy Joel or Elvis Presley or Jim Carrey or Martin Sheen or Charlie Sheen or Kiefer Sutherland or we are not that. We are not Harvey Weinstein. Okay? Just average guy who have a job, we are not criminals. We are not murderers or rapists. We are not bad boys. We are hardworking, law-abiding citizens of whatever country. We are not wealthy. We don't have rich uncles. We just have a house or one-bedroom apartment. Hardworking. We have no debts. We are not criminals. We are just average guy, single guy. So. No matter what race or age we are, girls don't typically find us very interesting. So they say to us, single guys, who are not wealthy, we don't have money, power, fame, we don't have inheritance money. Stay. No! You're boring, you're not a criminal. You're hardworking citizens of whatever country. You have a job. You have one bedroom apartment, or you have a house. Half acre lot in Wasilla, Alaska, Matsu Valley. Hmm? Not very impressed. We find you lacking and wanting. Okay, you're not Donald J. Trump. You're not Henry Kissinger. You're not JFK, you're not FDR, you're not Rockefeller, you're not Bush, 
You're not Kennedy. And you're not criminal either. You're not murderer. You're not rapist. You're not thieves. You're not bank robber. You're boring. And you got no money to spare. Yeah, but ladies, yeah, maybe I can buy some bouquet of flowers from Walmart. Or maybe I can buy some, you know, it could be ramen noodles from Walmart. Like Maruchan, Nissin. Well, I mean, if I go fancy about ramen noodles, some Korean ramen noodles, more expensive, right? Noguri, Yukkejang, Shin Ramen. I can cook that for you in the microwave. Maybe some beef jerky. Maybe some kimchi. Maybe some pickles. That's what I can afford. Yeah, one bouquet of flour from Walmart. Or some gas station hot dogs. Or gas station rose. Single rose. Red rose. Or it could be yellow rose. Pink rose from gas station. Or gas station hot dogs. I love that stuff. Okay. That's all I can afford. But I'm not a criminal. I commit no crimes. I'm a Christian. I do not steal. I do not kill. I do not rape. I'm law-abiding citizen of Alaska, America. You may find me very boring. But guess what? I don't commit any crimes. But I can dance for you. How about some? You're female, right? Single female, my date, I can lap dance for you as a male stripper for a single female. My date. I can crawl down naked as a male lap dancer and Bite this rose on the floor with my teeth and bring it to you like tango style, right? Or I can lap dance for you as a male dancer. You throw your money, one dollar bills, I pick it up with my teeth and I pocket it as your private dancer, lap dancer, naked. I would love to do that, okay? You'll be entertained, okay? I'm not a rapist, I'm not a murderer, I'm not a criminal. But, yeah, we buy this one single rose, red rose, or it could be yellow, pink, whatever rose, okay? I buy that for you, for you, as a date. If you come to my house, let me play this song. Miss Tina Turner, okay, African American, beautiful lady and great singer. I'm your private dancer, dancing for money. I do what you want me to do. As a male, all right, and you are my date. I go naked. I lap dance for you, and I will buy this one rose. It could be red, yellow, pink, whatever, okay, color. And we have these hot dogs from gas stations, okay. <laughs> we have that for lunch. I'll let dance for you as a male dancer, but you have to be single female though. I go naked if you allow me to, okay. I'll let dance for you, okay. If you Allow me to, okay? I'm very respectful. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a rapist, murderer. No. Not a criminal. Or I can afford, and I'm not wealthy, rich either. We can go to gas station, okay? Buy you some uh, gas station hot dogs, like Mama Bahama, or wonderful gas station hot dogs. I love it.
and some ramen noodles and one single rose. It could be red, yellow, orange, whatever color. Single rose, okay. You toss it to me when I'm lap dancing or flower dancing, floor dancing, naked dancing. Okay, you're my date. You're in my house, okay. Yeah. I crawl on the ground and bite that single rose and like the two lies that movie, Arnold Schwarzenegger and his husband, I mean, I mean, his wife, like, what's her name? Whatever, true lies, Arnold Schwarzenegger and the, his wife in that movie, okay, yeah, this tango, yeah, just biting this rose and passing it over mouth to mouth, okay. You can do that. I mean, you know, gas station, I will buy this rose with my money. It's like $5, right? I can't afford that. Yeah, gas station, hot dog, like $5. I can't afford that, but that's what can I afford. But you, I will guarantee you, you'll be entertained. Because I get naked and do this naked dancing, this lap dancing, if you allow me to, okay? Yeah, I'm your private dancer, dancing for money. Yeah, throw me on the floor, one dollar bill. I buy it, I, I pocket it, okay. I'm your male stripper dancer, lap dancer. Male rap da lap dancer, if you allow me to, okay. If you allow me to get naked. Yeah, I'll do that for you. It'll be my great pleasure. Why? I'm a man and you are a lady. Okay. Yeah. If you allow me to get naked and strip dancing with this gas station rose, no problem. I'm a man and you are a lady, okay? But I have to ask for your permission though. But if you allow me to do so, yeah, I do naked and strip Pose dancing, male stripper, but you have to be single female though. Because I'm not LGBT community member, okay? You have to be naturally born female, single lady, okay? I'm sorry to say all this, okay? I'm a male adult, so this content. It's not age appropriate. It's not age appropriate. Okay, but we did not use any obscene, profane languages. A Tina Turner, African American female. Okay, I'm your private dancer, dancing for money. I do what you want me to do. It's part of American culture, okay, so. There's no obscenity here, there's no profanity here, okay. I'm a writer, novelist, screenwriter, okay, so we are making a movie, short story, okay, there's no obscenity here, all right, so. Okay. What am I saying, my birthday? 43rd, 43rd birthday. I turned 40, 43 today, okay. So it's my birthday, okay. I'm talking about dancing naked, nudity, male nudity before my single female imagined date, imaginary girlfriend. It's not just me. There are some others. Anywhere in the world, single guys, okay? We are not wealthy, we are not rich. We are not like Donald J. Trump or Joe Biden or JFK, Rockefeller, Harvey Weinstein. We are not that, okay? We are not Billy Joel or Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, okay? 
the rest of us, 99.99% of us, single guys, okay. We don't have that much money. We are not criminals. We are law-abiding citizens, hard-working citizens of whatever countries. Okay. But ladies, we can be very entertaining. We got some good smarts. We are good. We can be very good entertainers. We are not criminals. We are not wealthy. We don't have money, power, fame. And we are not criminals. But we can still entertain you as a dancer, singer. Maybe, ladies, maybe you can press some self defense skills, martial arts, okay, so that you ladies are beautiful. Okay, we want you to protect yourself. Maybe you can press some martial arts. Huh? We can still entertain you, ladies. Although we are not rich, wealthy, although we are not criminals, we can still entertain you. We'll sing and dance and practice martial arts together. I can cook you healthy food, vegetables, fruits, lean meat. How about turkey breast, chickens? Grains, quinoa, brown rice, black rice. Whatever rice out there, okay. Beans, kidney beans, red beans, chicken beans. Healthy food. We can go hiking, running, we can go to the gyms. We can study mathematics together. <laughs> How about foreign languages? Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah, we can study history, right? Whatever, okay. We can still be happy. We are not very wealthy, but we can still get together. Some book club. We can read some novels or essays. Or we can write some novels or essays. We can make movies. Or we can sing some karaoke or dance together. You, my lady. Yeah, we can slow dance. Okay. Some jazz music. Partnership dancing. Okay. We can still have fun. Okay. No crimes, no money, power, fame. Okay. Just Google YouTube, some music video. We can still dance together. Okay. No problem, okay? Okay. I'm not asking to have some girlfriends, okay? I'm just saying. You can be happy without any crumbs or money, okay? You can get your dates. If you're a single guy like me, okay? Yeah, no crime necessary, okay? No money necessary. Just go to Google, YouTube and do some dancing and go to Walmart, fresh vegetables and fruits, okay? You can still have a date. I mean, Alaska, yeah, there are not many females here, okay? Or you can be single like me. No problem, okay? What we gotta do is just go to work and keep producing, study and teach, right? Learn and teach produce some papers, publish it, right? Online database, obscure maybe, that's fine. That's what I do. Okay. Yeah. We can still be happy as a single man. I cannot speak for women, okay? Maybe they can be happy as a single lady. Okay. Maybe, yeah. But I cannot speak for women because I'm not alone, okay? But as a single guy in Alaska, I'm, I'm still happy, okay? So I'm not asking my friends to introduce me to some ladies. I don't want to get any STD. Uh, 
corner. I'm Adrian. <laughs> I cannot get S to the sexual returns, but Jesus is okay. I, I, no, I cannot get it. I'm too old. All right. I'm aging. I'm by now. Today I turned 43. My back, ankle, knees, shoulder, neck, my wrist. Aging. Okay. So I cannot take any STD, sexual transmit diseases. I'm aging. I'm suffering enough from my aging body ache. Okay, so. We'll take five minutes very quick. We, we wrap it up first. Okay, we have only, what, 30 minutes left, so. Yeah. Happy Monday, okay, if you have birthday in June, yeah, happy birthday too, okay, so. Okay, five minutes please, thank you.
Okay. So, some clarification, okay? I'm not asking for any dates. Yeah, I'm a single guy, but at the same time, I'm a happy single guy, okay? Yeah, I have many friends. Alright. Although there's nobody here with me to celebrate my birthday. 43rd birthday, no problem, okay? I went to dance club, karaoke bars, three days ago, no problem. Saturday. I guess two days ago. Whatever, I have many friends, okay? I'm very taken care of. I'm not asking you to be my girlfriend. I'm not asking you to introduce me any girlfriend, okay? No, I'm happy single, okay? I like it this way, okay? But if I have a girlfriend in the future, I'm not gonna tell you. I wanna separate private life and public life, okay? So, yeah, this is YouTube, Google YouTube. Alright, human rights series, yeah, it's public domain, okay, so I'm not gonna tell you the details of my private life, because my private life is pretty much the same as any other body's, any other people's private life. I go to bathroom, I go to bed, I go to bathroom, take a bath, I eat, so that's pretty much my private life, okay. Going to work. Okay? Your private lives, maybe you engage in tattoos and piercings. I discourage you from doing that. I don't like tattoos and piercings, okay? You smoke marijuana, you do drugs, whether it's illegal or legal drugs, maybe it could be doctor prescribed drugs. Well, I'm not into that stuff, okay? Yeah, drink and smoke cigarettes, okay? Whatever. But, if I ever get elected as a United States Senator or President of the United States, will I do some dancing in public? Yeah. Not concert style. No, it's just one cameraman. Okay. Yeah, I can do some dancing. Maybe some of my favorite musical band, live musical bands from Alaska. Couple of them, yeah, they're my friends, okay, so, yeah. But it was just one cameraman, musical band, and me dancing, okay. Camera person, it could be female, but most camera apparatus, they are males, okay, why? It's not sexism, okay, it's just, it's been that way, okay. But maybe there could be some female camera person, okay, camera apparatus, whatever. Yeah. If I'm the President of the United States, inauguration ceremony, or if I become elected as United States Senator from Alaska, will I dance in public? Yeah. People in front of camera, yeah. <clears throat> what kind of dancing? Well, No nudity, okay? Because I can entertain the audience fully clothed. So I know how to dance, just a little bit, okay? There's no nudity like necessary, okay? But for the peace of the world's sake, maybe uh, I have long pants, suit and tie. Underneath, maybe short pants. Just short pants, knee length, okay? And some Hawaiian t shirt, okay? And yeah, this long pants, suit and tie, I can just rip it open and kind of Superman. <laughs> to entertain the crowd, short pants, okay, to shocking value, okay. Yeah, just, you know, maybe this long pants, maybe Velcro, I can just rip it open very easily. But short pants underneath, okay. And how and t-shirt upstairs, okay. Yeah, to get rid of the suit and tie easily, some velcro, some buttons, whatever. Yeah, we can do that. Some shockingly refreshing value as the president of the United States, kind of like a male Google dancer. I can do that. Yeah, sure.
to bring peace to the world, to stop the wars and violence. Some entertainment. We are educating to the people in the world that they need no violence to be happy, to have some excitement, entertainment, adrenaline rush. We can do it without any violence, without any crimes, without any corruptions, okay? We can still have fun. Adrenaline rush, entertainment, by dancing, it's education. Okay? Yeah, I'm more than willing to do so, okay? So next year, U.S. Senate, select, Senate election and selection in Alaska, okay, we'll see. Okay. Will I make top four? Most likely not, but I might. Okay. If I do, I sing and dance in public. Okay. Maybe in this house right here. Friday night, like it, don't kill you. Oh, human life series, okay. Yeah. Low budget. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's wrap up today because I'm getting really hungry. I've been fasting for like more than 12 hours. Okay. Okay. Thank you. If you happen to be birthday in June, yeah, happy birthday. Okay. Le yesterday, happy Father's Day. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice week. Thank you. Bye. I love you. Thank you for loving me. Bye. Happy birthday. Thank you.